We're going to make it rain in here today, here on this edition of Ravens Rundown by Chad Sports. Tyler Jones here. Appreciate you joining us. I have five potential moves for your Baltimore Ravens to save some money on salary cap space for this offseason. That way they can have some flexibility for trades or free agent signings or even just to be able to sign their own draft picks. We'll go over what Eric DaCosta and the Baltimore Ravens need to do coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, got a little question for the flock out there. I want to know, I'm very curious, no wrong answers here, who is your favorite Ravens player of all time? A lot of different guys to choose from. Who is your personal favorite? Tell me who it is and why in the comments section. We'll get started with today's show. Step one, extending Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen coming off the best season of his career in 2023 was a huge piece of this Ravens defense. And when you extend him, not only are you keeping him on this team long term and uh, securing his future, but also you can organize the extension accordingly to push some money down the road and give you that cap flexibility for this offseason to still be able to bring in other guys, opening up some space. Now, a contract for Patrick Queen is going to be expensive. No question about it. He's looking at a value, according to Spotrack, of less than $100 million over five years, about 92.6 to be exact. But if you think about some of the key pieces to this Ravens defense over the last few years, it's hard to imagine Patrick Queen not being a part of it. He's been very consistent, has not missed a single game in his four-year career with the Ravens. We really saw his play elevate to another level alongside Roquan Smith when Roquan Smith joined the team halfway through last season. And this year was his best season yet. A career high, 133 tackles, nine tackles for loss, three and a half sacks, and one forced fumble. Patrick Queen proved his worth, and he's just now starting to enter the prime of his career at this point. So I really like Patrick Queen. Not only do I think the Ravens should extend him, but also move, make that money work for you, as the great Dave Ramsey would say, and push that money down the road so you can have some flexibility. What do you guys think? Way in our pen comment today. Should the Ravens extend Patrick Queen? Why for yes and for no? Way in the comment section tell us what you think. Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the place to go for daily fantasy made easy. Here's how it works. You choose two or more players on any given category. Get the choice of more or less. Whether you're talking fantasy points, maybe it's yardage in football, maybe it's points in basketball, all sorts of different leagues to choose from, from the NHL, MLB, NBA, NFL, college football, NASCAR, golf, and more. I'm looking ahead to the 2024 Major League Baseball season, and I got a little nice one for you here, folks. Going with, from your Baltimore Ravens, Grayson Rodriguez, to have more than 180.5 strikeouts this year. Also going with Julio Rodriguez. I call this the Rodriguez special uh, with more than 168.5 hits uh, this season. Let's say we put $20 down on it if they both hit. We're making $60 on prize picks. Play along with me, pricepicks.com. So CLNS, promo code CLNS for a $100 deposit match. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. Prize Picks, proud partner of our Ravens Rundown by Chat Sports. Glad to have them on board here on today's show. Next up is cutting Ronnie Stanley. I know this decision isn't easy. This is going to be one that, that hurts considering how much the Ravens have invested in Ronnie Stanley. But the truth of the matter is simply this. The lack of availability with Ronnie Stanley. He's been very banged up. That's been one negative. But then, two, when he has been out there, he has underperformed. And the Ravens cannot justify the money that he is making to keep him on this roster. They have to move on right now. You cut him, you're looking at a cap savings of $15 million. Every dollar counts right now, okay? When we're talking about Patrick Queen's situation, Justin Matabike's situation, and potentially bringing in some other guys and the draft and all that. You need every dollar you can get. And I can't justify Ronnie Stanley paying him that money when I can't count on him to be healthy for one. And when he's out there, he's given up four sacks as my millionaire left tackle. I, I can't do that. The numbers from PFF were okay. 
Overall grade, 64.9. Run block grade, 62.5. Pass block grade, 72.4. They were okay. Don't get me wrong. But they weren't worth what he was paying. What he was being paid, they weren't getting the return on investment. Bye. Next up, Marlon Humphrey. I'm not saying cut him. Let me make that clear. Restructure Marlon Humphrey, okay? Hear me out on this, folks. Marlon Humphrey, I know that he was banged up this past season. We didn't get to see him play to his full potential, but he's still one of the best in the league at his position. And keep this in mind. He's still only 27 years old. He's still in the prime of his career at this point. The Ravens, though, to make this work for everybody, just need to move some of his money around to open up things. Because think about this, okay? I was going through the numbers on Marlon Humphrey. You can make some of this work potentially and save close to $8 million by moving his money around to later on, okay? Last year, missed a career high eight games with injuries. I don't think that's going to happen again. I am willing to keep Marlon Humphrey around and invest in him and push that money off with the belief that I'm going to see Marlon Humphrey back to the player that he was previously. Just 2022, he was a pro bowler. 2019, first team all pro player. I think he can get back to this. You look at the numbers, right? 2022, three interceptions, 71 tackles, seven pass breakups. 2021, 13 pass breakups, one interception. I think he's still that guy. He's just got to stay healthy. I think if you push that money back a bit and open up, make those openings to have that extra money to spend, not only are you helping yourselves out, you're also showing that you believe in Marlon Humphrey, that he's part of your long-term plans. Who's a player the Ravens should cut that they should move on from? Give me a player in the comment section that comes to mind that you'd like to see this team ultimately move on from. We are talking about your Baltimore Ravens all offseason long here on Ravens Rundown as we cover the draft, free agency, trades, and more. It is going to be an exciting offseason ahead for your Baltimore Ravens. Lock us in. Subscribe now for free as we continue to cover your team like no one else does here on the channel. And the best part about it, it's absolutely 100% free. Subscribe now. Don't ever miss a moment of daily Baltimore Ravens coverage like no one else brings you right here on Ravens Rundown. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. Tyus Bowser, what to do with Tyus Bowser? I have two options for you, and they both include not being on the Baltimore Ravens roster next year. First option, you ideally like to trade him and see if you can get something, anything out of him. If not, cut him and move on from there. Just two years ago, not very long ago, we go back in time in the hot tub time machine, and Bowser had seven sacks and looked really good, right? Then he misses all of last year. And if you forgot that Tyus Bowser plays for the Baltimore Ravens, I wouldn't blame you because it feels like the Ravens have mentally moved on from Tyus, that he's not even a part of this team. He's an afterthought at this point because of the other guys that have stepped up in this place. If, if he's gone tomorrow, no one is going to bat an eye about it. No one's even going to remember that he was there. He isn't needed anymore on this Ravens team. And the cap savings you're looking at, about $5.5 million. That's a decent amount of cash to spend. And although he had that season with seven sacks a couple of years ago, he's never been consistently available. Hasn't started more than two games in four years for the Ravens. Uh, last season, his numbers... We mentioned didn't play. Last time we saw him was 2022. In nine games, had 13 tackles, two sacks, one forced fumble. I'm out on Tyus. I, I need that money. I'm sorry, Tyus, but we need the money. We need the cash. You're going to have to go buy because we, we, we need that money. We, we got to be able to get Christmas presents this year, my guy. Who's the player the Ravens should add this offseason? Okay? If we're going to clear out all this money, to be bringing in some guys, who do you want to see in a Ravens uniform? Whether that's through the draft, or free agency, trade, whatever it is, name a player that you'd like to see on the Baltimore Ravens in 2024. Last one, this may come as a bit of a shocker here for you, but hear me out on this. Restructure Lamar Jackson. We know Lamar got a big payday last year, becoming the highest paid quarterback in the National Football League. And you may be saying to yourself, wait, what? Already? 
Yes, hear me out. Slow down on this here, folks. This is actually a common thing. When you have somebody that's paid a lot of money that you know is going to be around a long time, that you work the contract, you move it around, tinker with it for flexibility, for what's best for your team and what works out for them. And if you have a guy like Lamar, who's such a team guy who's committed like this, typically speaking, they're willing to work with you in these situations to do what's best for the team involved. Lamar's not going to lose any money by any stretch. But we're looking at a situation where you can move some cash and open up over $11 million potentially for Lamar Jackson. Let me be clear. Lamar is not going anywhere, okay? You're not moving on from a two-time MVP who's been a three-time Pro Bowler who's coming off a fantastic season with close to 30 touchdowns and over 800 rushing yards. We're not moving on from Lamar at all. We're just restructuring, just trying to move the money around a little bit. That way we can have that opening to be able to do more things with it. So I would expect the Ravens to do just that. So to recap, our potential cap moves for the Ravens. Number one, we're going to extend Patrick Queen. Two, we're going to cut Ronnie Stanley. Three, we're going to restructure Marlon Humphrey. Four, we're moving on from Tyus Bowser in some way, shape, or form, whether it's cutting him or trading him. And then last on our list, we're going to restructure Lamar Jackson. We're going to open up some cash so we can be able to spend more a little on that front. Uh, but we're not moving on from Lamar by any stretch. We're not even giving him a pay cut by any means. We're just opening up some cash, pushing some of his money down the road. That way we can take care of some guys for the moment right now, capitalize on this opportunity because the Ravens have a window. They need to jump on right now. I think Lamar knows that too. Thanks for joining us here on Ravens Rundown today. If you enjoyed today's video, which I don't know how you could not have enjoyed today's video, if we're going to be frank, like the video. We certainly appreciate it. We'll see you next time here at the show.